Why apply to dozens and dozens of law firms when the opportunity to be invited to your dream job might be right in front of you? Hi, and welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandar Nayaka. Throughout the past eight years, I've had the privilege of teaching students from around the world who have followed my fast track and masterclass programs and gone on to become successful solicitors, barristers, and in some instances, even judges and members of parliament. But a constant question I used to get asked and still do to this very day is how to secure a lucrative and rewarding position in a law firm. Oftentimes, you'll have quite academically gifted students who would go on to achieve second upper or first class degrees and perhaps even excel in their solicitors or barristers programs and yet send dozens and dozens of resumes and take part in interviews as well but be incapable of securing a lucrative position, something that is rewarding. The reason for this, as I have encountered from most students, and irrespective of the jurisdiction, is because of the mindset by which you consider the recruitment process. Oftentimes, we are looking at this as a job. We are looking at it in terms of the paper title, the qualification that you have, and considering it from a very objective standpoint and looking at partners and firms, using that as a metric to hire potential solicitors or barristers. But what you need to do from a mindset uh, angle of things is to stop looking at it from a recruitment or job perspective and start looking at it as if it's a sport. What do I mean by this? Try and inculcate the word talent into your vocabulary of recruitment. Just like in sports, When it comes to law firms, what, besides the articulation component that a partner or a firm might look at, they want to see what you're capable of, not just on your feet, but in terms of your charismatic persona, how you deal with others, how you work as a team, and the networking components that you would hopefully excel in. Now, granted, from the perspective of an examination or an assignment, only one part of this is capable for them to judge. And as a result, you need to go that extra mile to show a partner or a firm that you are the person for this particular job and for this particular role. Now, there is an opportunity to actually be invited to firms if you are capable of setting yourself apart from everyone else doing something that is actually available to you during the time that you're studying in your university. Now, I have to preface that not every program out there provides this opportunity, especially if you are in a remote or a distance learning program and you're not in an institution, for instance, you might not always have this opportunity before you. But where you do have what I always recommend to set yourself apart is to take part in mooting, mock trials, and do as many pro bono clinics as possible. When it comes to sports, for instance, the way in which major league teams recruit or try and get the best players on board is by sending scouts out into college level or tertiary education level competitions. They go and look at potential players. They they look at how they perform and whether they will look good in terms of their team and whether it will be possible for them to succeed. These players are then offered scholarships and opportunities in the team once they graduate from school or from college or what have you. The situation from a law firm's perspective is no different. When you go and participate in moot competitions, in mock trials, or even in pro bono clinics, understand that these mock trials or moot courts are adjudicated by potential partners and members of law firms. Put yourself out there. Make it so that they are able to see you perform. And chances are, over time, you would build enough of a reputation that when you choose to apply for these positions, you have already made your first impression. It is not at the point of the interview, they would already know who you are. And if you're really good at what you're doing, 
you might even be invited by these firms. Now, mind you, once again, this might not be an opportunity that's available to every one of you, but try and seek it out. And once you do, you might not have to send out those dozens of CVs and look forward to interviews alone. Chances are your reputation will precede you. That being said, until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe, and as always, obey the law.